Hey guys, Jeff from Show It here. In this video, we're going to look at how to create a button within your Show It site. So a button is going to be made up of two components. It's gonna be made up of a shape and of a text box. So for this example, uh, we're gonna look at some different options within our shape here. So first and foremost, if you want a solid button, that is how it will load up in that shape. You can change the colors, how you see fit. You can also change if you'd like a border instead you could change this here and either keep a different color border on or you could make the middle transparent and just have a border button like that. Maybe you want it a little bit thicker, make it thicker just like that. You can also choose the effects tab here and round the corners of your button if you'd like that. You can change the amount of rounding as well if you want something more rounded. You can also create a circular button if you were to want to do that. So now that you've got your button shape created, you'll wanna size it however you want. If you want a long button, a short button, a fat button, that's all up to you. So we'll leave it sized about like this. And the next element is just a simple text box. So I'm gonna use paragraph text for this. And you can either choose to size this up over the box if you'd like, or you can just go ahead and put it right in the middle of your shape. And to make sure that they're aligned with one another, you can hold shift or command and select both items to get this multi alignment tool and you'll want to align to group there to make sure that it is nice and centered. And you'll see that it's not quite centered there because we have a little bit of headroom in this line height. So I'm gonna reduce that. There we go. And then I can go ahead and center that again and it should be looking a little bit better. Tighten that box up so that we get a good center on it. There we go. So I'm gonna change this to my button text, which is going to be contact us, just like that. So now I've got my button created and all I need to do is link it. The very important thing to consider here is that when you add a click action, if I add a click action to only link the text, then if somebody clicks outside of this text box on the button, it won't take that action. If I only add a click action on the button, then if somebody clicked right on top here on this text box, which is on top, it would not take the action. So the best thing to do with a button is to hold again, command or shift and select both items. Under the alignment menu, you'll see a click actions option. Here you can configure a link for both elements. So I'll choose this. And in this case, I want to link this to my contact page. Our simple design is a one page design and my contact page is on the home page. So in this case, I'll use a canvas type link and the canvas I'll link to will be my contact canvas. Now I don't need to use a canvas view or submit a form in this case, so I'll click save. And now if I preview this design, I scroll down, hit my contact button, and it's gonna take me to my contact form here. Now if this were linked to another page, I could still link it up quite easily with the appropriate click action. And we do have a great video on click actions, all of the types, how to use them and what they do in our help library if you need more information there. One last thing that you'll notice here, my button on the mobile side is not quite looking as nice as the one on the desktop. What I can do here is go ahead and select the three dots options menu for this intro canvas where the button exists and choose layout mobile. Now you'll see here that it's going to help me try and recreate that style the best it can here. I'll get a few different options and if I don't like any of those, I can just choose do not layout which is going to at least apply similar styling properties as the desktop version without laying out that content. So I'll choose okay here, and now I have a lot less to do. All I need to do is make the center of my button transparent, drag it down to resize it accordingly here, place it on the canvas where it needs to go, and then grab my contact us text and put it in the middle of the button. So you'll see there that that particular little tool saved me quite a bit of time. And my click action is already set because click actions are shared between mobile and desktop design. So I hope this video has helped you better understand how to create buttons in your site. If you have any questions, you can always contact our team. We're happy to help. Until next time, happy designing.